Welcome to Mesopotamia, the land between the two rivers, episode 5, which is the conclusion. Today we're going to be talking about what we already talked about in previous episodes. Let's talk about what Mesopotamia is right now. Mesopotamia is a piece of land that's nested between the Tigris and the Euphrates River inside the Fertile Crescent. There were four problems and solutions. The first problem was food shortages in the hills because of overpopulation, so they moved south to the plains. The second problem was uncontrolled water supply in the plains, and they made an irrigation system that spanned most of the villages. And after that, building and maintaining irrigation, and they worked together to scoop out all the silt that might have clogged the irrigation. And they also worked together to maintain the irrigation systems in other ways. And lastly, attacks. They made walls and moats. The Mesopotamians made many different tools. They made cooking utensils, spoons, clay pots, bronze cauldrons, forks, and knives. They also invented the plows, and later they even added funnels to the plows, which could be filled with seed, and it would automatically dispense for you. There was also clay pottery, and the potters made those clay potteries on the potter's wheel, which is another invention which led up to the wheel. There were many artisans and craftsmen, and they included potters, jewelers, metalsmiths, carpenters, and stonemasons. Lastly, there were also weaponry, which were bows and arrows and spears. Next, we're going to be talking about some important inventions by the Mesopotamians and how they related to seven characteristics of civilizations. First, a stable food supply. They made irrigation systems and plows, which allowed them to make more food in shorter time. A social structure. There were a low, middle, and high class with several different um, several different professions of people in there. Next, a system of government. There was an example that I said earlier, which was the Code of Hammurabi, and it was a mix of monarchy and religion. Next, there is a religious system. There were ziggurats, statues, temples, and others. The arts. There were painting, architectures, uh, music, weapons, cups, decorative objects, sculptures, and musical instruments, which included the drums, pipes, and lyre. There was also technology, which included the wheel and the ark. And lastly, but not least, a highly developed written language, which was cuneiform. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Remember to click the bell icon for notifications too. Bye.